Hey guys. Okay, I'm doing the Viviscal video update. And if you are just looking for a video about Viviscal, or my first video ever that I ever, ever, ever reviewed it, uh, just go back to my videos and it'll be Viviscal review update week one or something like that. It's from an iPhone. It's really quick, but very informative. Okay, I've been getting swamp of people asking about my Viviscal um, results. And honestly, I've been on it for five to six months now. And I wanted to do an update about not only the regular Viviscal Extra Strength, but then the one they came out with, the, um, the hair repair that I tried in July. It looks like, I don't have the actual box, but it looks like this. It's blue, and it says, Enhance and Protect the Natural Health and Beauty of Damaged Hair, as opposed to, and it's only like 30 pills, as opposed to this, um, the regular Viviscal right here, which says extra strength. It's in most um, stores now, and it says, Nourishes thinning hair, promotes existing hair growth. So yeah, I started Viviscal in May, took it May, June, my, I posted my results for May and um, July, and I had started taking the, the new Viviscal, the hair repair. And honestly, I did not notice that big of a change with the, um, with the hair repair. I freaking actually miss Viviscal because usually, like I said, Viviscal from the start made my hair very, very oily. It only gets worse with time. And the other stuff just didn't make my hair as oily. Not that I miss the oil per se, but... I knew you could feel Viviscal's working and this stuff I just couldn't tell. And also it's one pill a day as opposed to two. And then another thing that's annoying is just you just don't know you don't see the growth, you don't feel the grease, you're like, oh what's up? So regardless of the oil abundance, I went back to the regular Viviscal and I got that was in I guess August. So in August I was on a whole box of it. That would be my third month of regular, fourth month altogether. And I forgot, since I had just been taking one pill with the other hair repair ones, I was only taking one with the regular. So I screwed myself because I was like, I don't feel like my hair is as oily as it used to be, or I don't know if it's working as much as it was before. I was like slowing down, what's happening? And then I realized, oh my god, I'm only taking one pill a day, whereas you're supposed to be taking two a day with extra strength. Oops. So I kind of like have been on it for five or six months, but it should only be five, if that makes sense. Or it should be six. It should be going on the six month, but it's actually like in the middle of the six month or something like that. Anyway, you get it. So that was August. September I took it. Um... October I took it so this first week in November I finished up the last and I'm starting my new box so that'll be my sixth box of Viviscal all together and um, it's freaking crazy so here's my review on that if you got all that um, first of all my hair growth if you want to see it I just washed it so it's a little puffy and blow dried it out, try to get it as straight and non voluminous as possible. So, to not lean back, if you pull it all the way down, um, it's like we're in a bra past my nipple, like almost to the bottom of my boob. Yeah, my hair is really thin, like I say in my other videos, because I have it cut to fit my extensions. But, um, that's another thing. Well, if you want to see the back growth, I mean the growth from the back, not growth on my back. Excuse the mess. I'm trying to get the best light in here. It's clearly past my bra strap. If you can see that. So that's pretty cool. Um, lots of growth. The roots that I had done... Um, about a little over a month ago totally my hair is like dark blonde so it's hard to tell but you can see the roots have grown so much for just that little amount of time um, 
Another thing is if I go like this, because a lot of, I know a lot of girls with long hair, you go like this through your hair and like kind of touch your scalp and rub it. Um, I can feel the new growth, and it's hard to see, but I have like about this long of new growth now, just like sticking out. So whenever I do my hair and stuff, it's clearly obvious that something's growing. A lot of the baby hairs here and right here are very abundant um, and also in the back of my neck too like you know like bottom hairs that are not so long I don't know why um, if I go like this in my hair like just shake it the, the only thing that really bothers me about it is like you don't get as much volume as you used to because you have so much oil like to help that it makes you produce so much oil in your hair so Honestly, the oil buildup on your scalp is insane. And like, if you watch my um, hair routine video, I don't wash my hair a lot. I try to wash it twice a week. I used to try to wash it once a week. And now with Viviscal, I've been washing it, like barely making it three times a week if I, if I work. And then like, I'll try to do like two times a week if I don't do anything. It's literally greasy city even with dry shampoo and I'm a big advocate as you guys probably know so the grease buildup on your scalp is kind of annoying and I would tell you to revert back to my hair routine video because either way whether you're using this or another hair vitamin or you're not using any at all you should always be using a clarifying shampoo once a week and a deep conditioner left on for about you know either overnight or at least 10 minutes in the shower one of the ones I recommended, macadamia nut oil, the best ever. Um, you should be doing that once a week, followed like following your clarifying shampoo. It's just the best thing you can do for your hair, for your ends, for the moisture, um, breakage, growth, healthy hair, healthy scalp. That's what helps it grow. The, the, the conditioned scalp is really, really important when it comes to growth. So even if you're not on any vitamins, even if you don't even want to try Viviscal because it's expensive, just, I would say, just go look at the hair video because it is everything you need to know. Um, other than that, the, gr the nail growth is insane. Like, I go get my nails, I have, these are my natural nails, but um, in a week, like, I get... I, my nails break very easily. They were harder with Viviscal, but I also bartend, so... And I do like makeup, hair, I paint, so it's just like my hands are in water all the time, so they get really my nails get really soft. So I have like the acrylic thin thin layer over my natural nails, if you can see it. And the you can't really see the growth, but this is like barely a week, like not even a week yet, and it already looks like it's been two weeks almost. Like it's ridiculous. And that's kind of annoying because if you do have acrylic nails or a similar situation, then you're gonna be paying every week which you would normally be paying every two weeks but then you know that it's working so it's like eh, YOLO I don't know um, another thing besides the growth which no one really complains about nail growth but the hair everywhere else growth the nether regions uh, forget it just impossible my roommates like dude what is with my pubes like they're growing so fast not to be lewd but seriously and um, I get waxed every month, so I'm like, ah, I need a wax, like, before I need a wax, like, before I need a wax. So that's kind of annoying. The leg hair, one day, you got to shave again. Um, armpits, same thing. But as long as you keep it under wraps, you know, just do what you got to do, then everything's fine, and it's totally worth it. And my hair is definitely much healthier, shinier, everything else, like, hair has never been healthier in its life. I still do all the same stuff that I was doing before, like I said, in my hair routine video. Only thing that's changed is, I mean, I always try to, I always have to blow dry, round brush my hair out, um, at least the top, but if I'm not doing anything, or since I wear extensions and it's like kind of hidden inside the weave, if you will, um, I really don't blow dry all the way to the ends. I do a little, little bit, like hit it with the blow dryer a little bit, because I have wavy hair, and then I'll round brush up here, but I don't ever, like, tr I try not to do any heat on it, don't forget to use a leave-in conditioner, like I said in the video, this brush, um, even though it's nasty and has a bunch of hair in it, sorry, I like it like that, it's softer on my head, um, if you can see, if you go get yourself, or if you ever heard of Mason Pearson brushes that are, like, 
a hundred, two hundred dollars, and you're like, what the fudge? Um, this is a knockoffish one, just doesn't have the name. Um, you can't really knock it off. It's the same ingredients. It's two things in a brush. Uh, I got this one at Sally's. They finally started carrying Mason Pearson knockoffs. They have a knockoff of everything else except for like this brush. So I got it there for like probably 20 bucks maybe. Um, it has the nylon, which is this little white bristle, and the boar bristles, which are the shorter black ones. Um, a nylon and boar bristle brush is the perfect brush for smoothing out your hair. It keeps the oils on the brush, so it helps distribute the oils evenly down the hair shaft, and it helps with breakage at the bottom. Not that it's going to like save your hair's life if you don't do everything else you're supposed to do, but it definitely helps. And other than that, um, I'm starting my six month, yeah, my six full month of Viviscal. So they say on the insert and everything that you read, um, takes six months to see full results. So I'm really wondering what the hell, like how long my hair is going to be in six months of, I really wish I wouldn't even have tried the other stupid ones, but I'm glad I did so I could tell everyone. Aren't you happy? So there's my update. Hope it helps. Hopefully next time I talk to you guys, my hair will be like, boom, hitting, going in my belly button. And that would be awesome. Let me know your results. And I've been hearing really good things. A lot of my friends are using it, like I always say. Um, and a lot of people that, I, that you know, follow me on my blog and also on here and who found me from my other YouTube channel that got canceled or hacked, whatever. So, hi, thanks for finding me. And if you use Viviscal, if you're questioning about try it, try it. It's really awesome. Find it on Amazon. It's only like 30 bucks. CVS is like 50 or 60, depending on when the sale is. Try it. Let me know how you like it. And those of you who told me that you got it, um, let me know how it's working for you.